welcome to my channel. I was asked to make a travel junk journal from a customer who attended one of my craft beers back in October. Anytime someone asks me to make them a journal, I'm, I'm greatly appreciative and honored that they would ask me. <laughs> so thank you very much for the opportunity. I'm going to do a quick flip through on this um, one. I used a cereal box for this. And if you can see, there's only one, two, three, four pages. But if you know me, <laughs> I add so many, many folders. I add so many um, pockets. Um, so you have so much opportunity to add photos. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and go through this. Um, I used this um, string, but I doubled it. It's still very strong and it's very secure. So I just thought that would be just a different way of adding a tie. In the inside, um, I added a little mini journal here. Um, I usually just tie it simply in a nice knot because that way you can untie it easily. So you see like that and then you just untie it. So I'm going to start from this. This is a mini journal. You can see I did a little collage on it. I also added um, between each page, um, you will see about a quarter of an inch um, between the pages so I can add something like this. Plus, as you add photos, your journal gets really fat. <laughs> so it's good to have that extra room. Okay, back to this mini journal. Um, I have about, oh, let's see, five pages and I folded them in half so you have 10. And every other page I added the stamp that says date and then right here you have a place to journal the memory. So I'm going to close this up. It's just a nice way to keep it together. Okay, on this side. On this front fold, I just put um, a stamp and this is a little envelope or like a little pocket. And then I added these um, tags in there. The material or the paper that came from this is from that Reader's Digest Alter book that I did last month. These pages are wonderful, these text pages. So you can add to any scrapbook. The inside, I found this in my scrapbook swag. It really um, depicts travel, so it was perfect for this. And then places to add photos there, and that's just a pair, like a, a stack of luggage. On this, I had this little folder. Here's another tab. I like tabs. You're gonna see a lot of tabs throughout this book. This is just one of my embossing um, folders. And what I do is I get acrylic crayons and I just rub it across whatever color I want it to show up. And then when you're done, you just wipe it with a um, paper towel and it just takes away any of the stuff that might get on your hands or on other pages. And then here's a pullout. You're gonna have photos on the front and back. And then here's a place to journal. Let me put that back in. And then on this side, um, I have this old vintage atlas. So you might notice here on all the corners of these four pages, I put some of that atlas on it. And then here is a map from that atlas. So, you know, if you want to put a photo on it, you can. I just like the way it looks just plain. <laughs> And then you open up. Here's another mini journal. This one isn't as large. There's only four pages, um, but I did put this stamp here. And then there's another piece from that um, atlas I have. This is just plain. I didn't do much to this page. Um, planning, um, of course, you always want to do that when you're traveling. And I found this quote. It says, a goal without a plan is just a wish. And then I just did some stamps, a to-do list. This is from my um, embossing folders. I thought that was fitting for this journal and then a place to add photo here and here, place to journal. And then I had this extra ribbon so I just added on to make it more creative. <laughs> and then I'm gonna first show you the back of this page. What a great layout. You could put pictures here, you could put tickets wherever you are. I just love this. It is a waterfall. I like waterfalls. It just allows you to keep everything compact. So here it says, remember our adventure. I put some travel stickers there. And then when you open it up, you can put pictures up here. And then on this, it says together is our favorite place to be. You lift it up, you can put some photos there. And then this is one of my embossing folders and it's just a globe. And then up here, we just went over that. So just a neat layout. Let's close this up. We went over that. I'm going to close this and open it this way. We have one more to close. Okay. 
So these cards, I just added two and I folded it and I also scored it right there so you can have another opportunity to add a photo in the back. And then here's a place to um, journal the memory. And as I mentioned, this is my echo print paper with leaves. And I, sometimes those patterns, they're so pretty. So when you draw lines and then you write what the memory is, you can still see the pattern. So you can see on this side, I did the same thing. Sometimes those leaves are just so pretty and you don't want to cover it with the photo. Okay, back to the second little folder. It says, live it up. Places to put photos there, here, and here. And then again, here's those um, leaves. I drew lines and then places to put your pictures here. When you open up this one, these are the last two sheets I have of this paper. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> Someone can educate me, that would be appreciated. Um, this is like the paper you use in those old scrapbooks like our grandma used to have. So I just don't know what type of paper it is. Sorry about that. And then here's another waterfall. I used black velvet. I did it and lined it up in different ways and then I added these quotes and it says, um, there is no time like the present and you open up and you have places to put photos. This one says, make the best of every day. This one says, good times, best day ever, hello weekend and special day. And this just says, adventure, happy, fabulous and XOXO. So see how wonderful that is to add more photos. And then on this side, I just put um, this paper as the last sheet I had. I cut it up and I put like sporadically, I laid them out and glued them. And then for all of these edges, like when I cut edges like this, I hate to throw them away. So I just made a layout with them and you can still put a photo on it. It's just a good background. And unfortunately, I saved too much stuff. <laughs> we went over that. On this side, um, this is another embossing folder of the United States. Um, you can see these cool leaf patterns. So I drew lines so you can write the memory. But you don't have to write the memory. You could put a photo here. You don't have to do it. I just like to put that out as an option. And then right here it says Sight C Memories. And then this is from my die cut. And it says Travel Moments. And then this right here, I cut around it. It is not straight. So I'm going to call that one of my perfectly imperfect pieces. <laughs> I just can't do circles. I don't know what, what my problem is. Anyway, here's some places to add some photos. And then when you open it up, you have some more mini folders. This one's just a fold. So you have just a little bit of room with some tabs. If you notice, I have a lot of tabs. I just like tabs. And then here's a simple layout. This is from my die cut. And then on this side, this was another um, from another junk journal that I didn't use. So I thought, hey, I can add it here. So it's the little things, and in here you have some more papers just to add more photos or write the memories down. I just put some brads in there. So like I said earlier, there's just so many places that you can add photos. And then we went over that, and then this is the last page. Um, this is a another embossing folder. And I have a little tab there. And you may know from my other journals if you watched them, I like to do bifolds or trifolds. That gives you an opportunity to have pictures in the front and the back. And it keeps it compact, so I like to do that. And then under here is just another one of my embossing folders, and I did that with my die cuts. So like I said, it's a simple travel book, but it's going to have so many opportunities to add memories. So. So thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving and thank you again for stopping by. Goodbye.